everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel. To my returning subscribers, thank you, thank you so much. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you click on that red subscribe button. I hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up and we are going to be doing a plan with me for the week of November 11th through November 17th. I'm going to be using this kit from Stickadelic called Sweather Weather. I just love these fall colors. I've picked out some pictures. That's actually an older picture of my husband Rick and I, our daughters Raina and Sabrina, and their husbands Jeremy and Mike before the grandchildren started coming. I've got this older picture of um, Rick and myself at one of our favorite pots parks and not Seago. I've got Jeff and Maddie Matt, Tori Pye and her mom Sabrina and Aiden and Sabrina as well. So I'm going to start by laying down the date stickers. So I've already added the numbers to the days of the week and I just need to white out the bottom of that so that they fit well. Normally I put these on the bottom of that uh, blue divider strip, but this time I thought I would try something different, so I put it on top of that. I thought that might give me a little bit more room on the bottom to add another chore or something or errand that I needed to do. And then in my mind I'm thinking if I go back and use the washi strips, I might be able to save a few pennies by not going all the way across. Yeah, so yeah. I'm just weird like that. So anyway, I'm using the washi from the kit. So I've got that on the bottom. I just love these fall colors. It's just uh, all the nice fall foliage, the leaves, and putting that on the other side as well. And then I'll use it on the top to cover up the, the November 2019 on the top. And then for some reason, I thought I would show that 2019. Really don't know why. It probably would have, it would have, Oh, well, I know it would have looked better had I just left it go all the way across, but then I cut it. So then I couldn't go back and put it back on. So, oh, oh well, live and learn, right? So then I did the same thing on the, uh, the Monday side of the book and I just uh, peeled it back. And so I could leave that November showing. I think when I get some stickers that have the the month day, the month names there, it'll just look so much better just to put that on top and I won't have to fiddle so much with the uh, X-Acto knife that I have so much fun with. So anyway, now I'm going to, on the side of that, to cover up that uh, last column over there. And I did this the last week and I really liked how this came out. Said I'm just using these little dividers, uh, chart markers from the kit and there were four that came in this kit, so I needed to go to um, a past kit that I didn't use everything to finish the other page. And I just like uh, dividing this page, that section of the uh, column right here. That's where I like to put in the forecast uh, for the week, and then at the end of the week, go back and put in my elliptical stats for the, uh, the steps, the hours, and the miles that I put in. And I think that's really working out for me. It gives me a defined space, and it kind of helps keep the keep it in a nice orderly fashion. Um, so I do like doing that, and it, I think it just adds a lot, and it, it gives me like another column. So I'm I'm able to get like four columns uh, doing this for the days of the week. So then um, I'm going to put that picture in. And I've got my little, I already glued it on the backs. So I've got my little weight sticker so that later at the end of the week, I can put in my week for my weight for Monday and again, my weight for Sunday. And just got our names in there in case I forget who we are someday. But anyway, I like uh, using this for memory planning as well. Under the days of the week, I'm going to use these ombre charts and I like doing this as well. Um, instead of just leaving it blank and maybe putting a sticker in there or putting some um, errands or task in there or appointments. I just, uh, I think this just kind of makes it look a little bit more neater and organized. And then of course it just adds a nice little splash of color too. So later after I get these done, I'll go back in and put in some items that I knew coming, that I know I have coming up for the week. And uh, Actually, I did pretty good with my X-Acto knife there, so I was actually pretty proud of myself. I didn't cut myself, I didn't ruin any paper. Um, so anyway, that's working out good. And these, and I think I needed to go to an older kit too to get another extra ombre uh, stickers and the colors just seem to match up really well. In the past, sometimes I didn't put them down on Saturday and Sunday, but um, I knew I had some things I wanted to do and I knew I was gonna be going to work those days. I didn't know what how many hours I was going to be putting in, but I knew I had some things I wanted to do, so I wanted to get those in. 
Um, so now I'm going to go back in and put in my pictures first before I use the uh, the photos, um, the full boxes from the kit, just so that I can make sure that I get my memories in here. So that one on top is actually Rick and myself when uh, we had this favorite park we used to like to go to in Otsego. Had some really nice hiking trails. It was a really steep hill to get down to the river. We used to love to take the puppies there, just let them run, and then. Um, later on once he lost his legs and we would still go there but um you know he there was no way to, it's like they have handicapped parking but they got no way to get down to the river so i don't know but i suppose they did have picnic areas and things like that so it was just a really nice place to go sometimes we'd go on the bike there and just take a break there so that he could kind of relax a little bit before going a little farther so here i'm just putting down the pictures of jeff oh i got jeff on the other page that's maddie matt I'm putting on Tori Pie and Sabrina, and then at the bottom I've got Aiden and Sabrina, and they're just playing with some filters while they're watching for Tori. And as you can see, I put the uh, sticky tape down on it, and then I tried to remove it, peeled up some of the uh, other other thing, but I figured I'm going to cover it with washi and stickers anyway, so no need to uh, fret and cry over ripped paper, right? So on this page, now I'm going to go back and put in some of the uh, full boxes from the kit. And I just love the, the colors on these and whether you use them just for the picture itself or if you put some icons or some decorative things over it, it just really just adds a nice splash of color and just keeps the book nice and fun and light. And sorry about that. Um, I put this uh, old mat over my TV tray so it kind of looked a little bit better, but I'm not paying attention to where it's centered so that you can see where I'm working. Um, so I've got some washi strip that came with the kit, and as you can see, right on top of that, it says it's my weekend banner, but for some reason, I didn't think I had it, so I had to dig through a kit to find another one. Here, I'm just filling in my tasks, so I knew Monday I had a full truckload of castor oil coming in. I wanted to make sure I got to work bright and all early to get that unloaded and check inventory. Um, I knew I had to go to the post office. I had a fashion box come in the week before and I needed to return that. And Erin Condren was having the first day that you could order the uh, seasonal box for the winter. So I wrote that in to remind myself. Tuesday, I wanted to double check my Scentsy Club because I wanted to finalize anything I had before it shipped. I wanted to get my order in for a touchstone crystal party, a uh, jewelry party and Wednesday trash day and also Wednesday was the first day that I could order the uh, Scentsy snow globe it's, it was a, a limited edition warmer so I wrote that down to make sure that I got that done and it sold out I think within a half hour so I am so glad I did that Thursday I had a Castro audit from the vendor we had a mix and match video that I knew my box was coming in so I wanted to get that uploaded Friday, I wanted to get my next order for a full truckload of castor oil in because it takes about 10 days for them to ship it. And it was also a new website for me called Villa Beautiful. Um, she had a mystery, she does a mystery kit every month for the month, the month following month. So the 15th that was available and then she takes so many orders and then she cuts it off. Um, I put down that I was going to go to work on Saturday and Sunday. I wasn't quite sure of my hours that I was going to put in. Saturday, I knew I wanted to do Walmart, so I put in off to the side my little shopping girl, and I was going to get gas that day, fill up my tank, so I put in the gas tank. And on Friday, I put in my payday and my Friday lady from Planner Kate. I went back to Monday. I put in, found a Veterans Day sticker in one of my other kits. Actually, I think it came in a freebie in one of my kits that I had ordered. Alrighty, so that's where I put my Hello Weekend in that I really had on the washi strips that I was using. But And here I just pulled the washi strips off but didn't see the Hello Weekend banner. I guess I had already made up my mind that I didn't have it. So I wanted to lay down some washi strip and then put on that big Hello Weekend banner. And then, of course, I started to cover up the day, my uh, forecast, so I had to try to fix that boo-boo. And then I went back to lay in some more washi. And... Um, 
something for some reason, then I laid it in the wrong place and I had to pick it up and move it because I was starting to do the same thing with that strip was covering up my forecast. And I like to have the forecast there that I put down for the week and it may not always be perfect because the weatherman, you know, they get paid big bucks and then whether they're right or wrong, they get paid the same. But it gives me an idea of what I want to wear for the week for to get a few days planned ahead. And um, I think I'm just kind of pointing out some blank spaces that I had and what I wanted to do. I took one of those half boxes that I put next to Aiden and Sabrina. And uh, I know I was probably going to do laundry on Sunday, so I've got my wash dark, my wash, my sheets. Um, I knew I'd probably be vacuuming the house that day, so I put in a vacuum cleaner and then a laptop too because I knew that was going to be the day that I would have most time to work on YouTube, even though I did uh, try to work on YouTube every day this week. So I was happy I did that. I went back to lay down some motivational stickers. So next to Rick and me, I put with love. And then after his picture, I put adventure because it was just always a, a great adventure with him no matter what we did but it was we just always had fun whether we were hiking or riding on bikes or you know going camping it was just it was just always a ton of fun so I just always want to remember that and then I've just got another motivational sticker that came with Erin Condren that was success means having the courage the determination and the will to become the person you believe you were meant to be and then also from Erin Condren there was a remember why you started picture and I think the colors just went really well with that kit I put some little teardrops on either side of the adventure just to kind of though you can see one and then you really can't see the other one that I put in with the pumpkins but oh well I know they're there and uh, Friday, I think I that's where, or I think right here, I'm just kind of looking at it. I think I'm ready to say I'm done for the done for the week. I'm just gonna get my stickers laid out, and at the end of the week, I came back to fill in my elliptical steps, my my weight. Friday, I ended up going out for pizza on the way home, and I got an extra large, and I had that all weekend long. I put in the hours that I worked on Saturday and Sunday, and on Sunday, I actually booked my Christmas trip home, so I am super excited about that. And I'm thinking that I'm done. Oh, I put a little uh, computer girl on uh, on Thursday on top of the, uh, the picture there, and just a because I think I had some extra time on Wednesday because I was doing my mix and match video. So I wanted to just make sure I got that uploaded. And I like to do the uploads really quick when I do my clothing unboxings because I really need help trying to figure out what looks good on me and what doesn't. And everyone has always been so helpful. And here I thought I was done, but then I said, oh yeah, I wanted to use the washi strips to cover up the blue dividers. So I did that. And I think you're going to see a couple of times where I think, oh, I'm done. Here, I'm done. I got my hands out like, oh yeah, yay, I'm done. And then it's like, oh, I missed that divider. Oh, I missed that divider. But anyway, I think these washi strips, they just add nice. They look, they look nice. They add a little bit more color. And again, I'm not sure why on some of them I went all the way across and on some of them I didn't. The idea of my putting my date sticker up on top was not to do the washi all the way across. So you can see, even though I make these plans, they don't always work out that well because I don't remember them. I need a mem I need to put that in my book and pay attention to. You see here, I thought I was done and I had more washi to lay down. But anyway, I am really having a lot of fun uh, with this planner. And I feel bad on this because I did this uh, plan with me week. Um, I did it on, I think on Sunday the 10th, I, st I did that. And then I did the I didn't do the voiceover, but I did kind of piece the video together and forgot to do my voiceover. So I just am doing this now. So you're probably going to see a couple of these in a row. So I do apologize for that. I hope that everyone goes out, has a great week. I hope that you click on like and subscribe. I'd love to see you come back here again. And